Hey guys, today we're going to be making some pumpkin cookies. Okay, so today I am participating in Fallon from Moss Family TV's open collaboration for Fall Food Fridays. And she has had this collab going on for, I know three years, maybe four, I'm not sure. Not sure. I participated last year and I have participated once this year, but last week I did not get to put a video out because some things were going on in my family, but that's okay. It's all right to miss a week. It's okay. Some people only do one this whole time, but she does four um, consecutive weeks of Friday food things for fall. And it's an open collaboration, as I said. I think I said it. I'm not sure if I said it, but I think I said it. Anyway, it's an open collaboration. Anyone can join. Ladies and gentlemen from all over the world have joined, and it is really fun. So the only thing she asks you to do is just do a fall recipe something you would enjoy for fall most everybody's doing pumpkin but so am i everybody does pumpkin because that's when pumpkins are normally you know ready that's when they're harvested that's when it's time for you to eat them so which nowadays we are in a world where we can get pumpkin almost year round except in 2020 there was a pumpkin shortage or something. It was very hard to find. So when I found it, I stocked up. But I already had a little bit, not much, but a little bit at my house before that. So thankfully I didn't miss out on any pumpkin related recipes for the year. So I'm gonna go ahead and take me a sip of coffee and then I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about this recipe. Okay, I got this recipe from a vintage recipe website. I'll link it down below. It's just called pumpkin cookies. There's one ingredient that I do not have that I have actually never tasted and I did not buy because we're doing shelf timber as well and I try not to buy. No, that's not true. I bought all kind of extras for my kids. Well, I didn't buy any extras for cooking things like this. <laughs> So anyway, I did not buy dates. I've never had a date that I know of other than dates with my husband, which we haven't gotten to do in a while. It'd be nice to do that again. Maybe soon. Anyway, I mean, we have like go riding or something, but not a, like a date date, like a dress up, go out to eat and stuff date, that kind of date. Yeah, we haven't done that in a long time. So <laughs> let's just stop talking about that and start talking about other things. There was something else that's in this recipe that years ago I had read a recipe that someone had given me and I was like what is that most of you may not know what it is I had to look it up back then it's been years but do you know what oleo is do you because I didn't I do now I've known for years oleo is margarine that's all it is margarine is a dupe for butter <laughs> <laughs> it's not real butter, it's oil. But I did not have margarine in the house, really. Um, I've got some in a tub, but I don't want to do that. And I had one stick. One. I need two. So I will be using some salted butter to go with that because I just happen to have a stick of salted butter in the freezer and hopefully it will be melted or not melted, but. It's been out for a little bit, but it's not quite room temperature yet. I'll stick it in the microwave or in the oven or something. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so we needed only a one cup of that. We're substituting butter and margarine. <laughs> margarine, let me talk right. I don't know what kind of mood I'm in. One cup of sugar, one egg. What in the world was that? One cup of pumpkin, one cup of vanilla. No, one teaspoon of vanilla. Don't put a cup in there. Oh my, for goodness. Don't put a cup in there. That's expensive. Um, one teaspoon of vanilla. One teaspoon of cinnamon, which I did learn something recently about cinnamon. Be careful whenever you get your cinnamon because a lot of times it's cardamom. 
And if you ingest too much, it can do liver damage. Make sure it's real cinnamon. Um, cinnamon's good for you though. A uh, hap, it's preheated. What, it's preheated, okay. okay. Um, a half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of soda, baking soda. That's the way they used to do it. One cup of cut dates, which we're not doing that. Um, one, two cups of flour and a half cup of nuts. I'm using pecans because I have pecans. So that will be my nut of choice today. So, oven is preheated at 350. I'm going to bring you guys over here, start putting it all together. Half of this mix, I'm gonna just do the way it says, minus the dates. The other half, I'm gonna throw some chocolate chips in. So, let me get y'all set up because, ugh, I took everything out except the egg. Did I say we needed an egg? Yes, we need one egg. Um, I took everything out, but that's as far as I got. So let me set it up and start making some pumpkin cookies. Noah will enjoy these for sure, I'm sure. He loves pumpkin stuff, so I'll be right back. Okay, so this is proof that butter and margarine are not the same. The butter is not melted, the margarine is. What's up with that? I guess it's because one is milk fat and one is not. So let's just stop talking about that. Let's go on to the next thing, so okay. The first thing you're supposed to do is mix your butter, sugar, eggs, pumpkin, and vanilla together. So, I need one cup of sugar. This is one quarter cup, so I'm using four of these. Oh, don't do that. There's that part. And then I'm going to need one egg. I normally do it one-handed, but I don't know why I didn't this time. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the trash so that I do not make a mess and wash my hands. Okay, so I need a cup of pumpkin. This is an eighth, so I'm using eight of these. So, it's gonna take me a minute. Y'all have patience. <laughs> One, two, three. It's actually almost this whole can, honestly. Maybe four, not quite. That can't be right. Five, that looks like a cup there. I think that's all I'm gonna do. That looks like a cup. Y'all, that looks like a cup. I'm just gonna say that's a cup. All right, and then the vanilla. One teaspoon. This is a half teaspoon, so I'm putting two of those. I don't even know why I'm doing that because I just usually eyeball it. That's what I'm gonna do this time. I'm gonna mix that together. Now everything smells delicious because of that one ingredient the vanilla. All right, I'll mix this together because that's what it says to do. That yolk doesn't want to bust. I could use my mixer and everything, but I just don't see the point in pulling out something when I can use my arm muscles. I need to work on my arms anyways. So the next thing that I need to do is add in the flour, baking powder, salt, baking soda, and cinnamon. So I'm gonna grab my little sifter and do that thing. That's probably not gonna sit in there. So we're not gonna do that. It's not really a sifter, it's a, yeah, it's a sieve, sifter, whatever, I don't know. Here's what I'm gonna do so I don't make such a mess. 
I'm going to move that over. Grab a bowl. Sorry for the loudness. No, that's not mixed perfectly, but we're going to do this thing. All right. So, flour. We need two cups. Again, this is a quarter cup, so I need four of those. And I'm going to level it off. Nope, I need eight of those. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. I don't always sift things. And actually the reason why I'm using this is because it will fit in my jar. It was all the flour's fault because I used a half gallon jar to put all purpose flour over here. <laughs> it's okay though. Let me dust off my hands. Okay, so now we're gonna put in a half teaspoon of salt. I don't wanna put too much because there's salt in the other things. This is a half teaspoon measure. It feels like so much salt. I'm not putting it all in there. I put eighth cup of eight. Oh, not a cup. Y'all, I can't talk today. Eighth of a teaspoon. One teaspoon of baking powder. Now, I'm not going to skimp on that because you need that to, for it to rise properly. One teaspoon of baking soda. See, now, if you grew up in the South, you knew what soda was most of the time because your granny said soda or sody. They didn't call drinks soda. Not around here. Well, they might have where I live now, but not where I grew up. Okay, so got the baking soda in there. And then one teaspoon of cinnamon. Make sure there's no baking soda or anything on there. Oh, it smells so delicious. That's just what baking soda does. Okay, so I've got all of those things. Flour, baking powder, salt, baking soda, and cinnamon. And I'm going to sift it into here. Get all that out of there because we need all the goodness. I need a sit like a you know an old-fashioned sifter the kind that you do that I had one before but it broke and I never replaced it don't know why I never replaced it though A lot of times you don't have to sift flour nowadays, but then, you know, you still do get the lumps in there if you don't. Oh, great. I just sifted it on my hand. There is a reason for all the things. There is a reason for all the things you do in a recipe. See all the lumps there? But you can easily go ahead and squish those out. That's a technical term, squish. And now I see salt in there, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry about that. All right. Now that I have all of that in there, I just mix it together. should have used my big metal bowl. I don't know why I didn't. I have several metal bowls that I use, but I don't know why I didn't grab one of them because they're taller and they wouldn't have made such a mess. This looks very 
like wet. <laughs> All right, so now the next step is to add in the pecans or nut of your choice. And I'm choosing pecans. I try to break them up some. All right, this says these uh, cookies do expand much like a muffin when baked. We found it be helpful to lightly press down the top of the cookie dough after it was placed on the cookie sheet with a cookie scoop. Results in a wide cookie rather than a puffed cookie. I don't care if they're puffed. I mean, that was kind of, the way I said that was rude. Um, well, not really rude, but kind of rude. Um, I don't want that big of a pecan in there. I should have maybe chopped them up with a knife. I don't know, it'll be fine. But I just had some frosted pecans left. And I always um, store my pecans and stuff like that in the freezer because they last longer. If you don't store them in the freezer, they could get rancid. You don't want a rancid nut. That can make you sick and it tastes disgusting. Now that's not much in the nut situation, but that's okay. All right, so I'm going to sit this to the side. These are so liquidy. Is that the way they're supposed to be? Did I do something wrong? They substituted raisins with this. I may put some raisins in there too. It makes three dozen cookies, so let's go. Let's just go do this thing. All right, I'm gonna move everything out of the way, clean up a little bit, and then I will bring you back. Okay, so let me scoop stuff around. I'm gonna wait for the next batch to put in the um, chocolate chips. I don't know if I should get the cookie scoop out or just do it with a spoon. Put one there. I don't know, these may look weird, but that's all right, we're gonna go with it. They smell delicious. They may not be the size they're supposed to be either because of the way I'm doing it. But it's supposed to make three dozen, so let's just enjoy cooking, baking, making, all the things. I'm thinking I maybe put too much of the um, pumpkin in here. I don't know. We shall see. So I'm gonna fill up this pan and I'm gonna do something else real quick before I put this pan in the oven. Oh, that's weird. I don't know when this uh, recipe, like what year it would have been from, but I wanted to make recipes that were from like old times, vintage times, times that are a little different than now. Cause everything now is all this fancy stuff. All right, so, which I like and I can do and they're fun. This one is not quite the size of the rest. Put a little bit more on this one too, just to have them about the same size. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna do something else with these. I went and got a little box of raisins because it says they put raisins in some of theirs. I'm gonna put a few raisins in here. Let's see, I'm gonna do it from this finger, because, with this hand because I already touched the cookies 
with this hand. I'm just put a few raisins in each one like that. Something like that anyway. I don't even know if y'all can see me well. Can you see it? Yes, you see what I'm doing. That one's got small raisins, so. But this batch will have raisins. I don't wanna just do a raisin cookie, but I do love oatmeal raisin cookies though. They are one of my favorites. Sometimes I would rather have that than a chocolate chip. I mean, honestly, it's just so good. All right, so I'm going to put these on this one. I'm going to have one batch that's just the cookie dough, and then I'm going to do one batch with the chocolate chips. So I'm going to, let's go ahead and use the rest of these raisins up. Since I've contaminated the box, I need to go ahead and, oh wait, I'm not going to use that one. I know I cleaned the countertop, but I don't know. I feel weird about eating stuff off the counter. I know some people make their sandwiches on the counter, and that's all right. That's fine. Jeff does it sometimes. It grosses me out. <laughs> Noah does it too. He gets it from his daddy. They gross me out. All right. This might be overkill. I don't know. I'm gonna put this batch in for how many minutes? How many minutes does it say? Oh dear. It says bake at 350. That's all it says. Bake at 350 for how long? Oh boy. So I'm gonna go for eight minutes and then I'll look at them and we'll see. So let's put these in, then I'm gonna grab some more and get them going or get another pan. I wonder why it doesn't tell you how long you're supposed to bake them for. Oh, that's a big one. I may have to take from that one a little bit. Some may have nuts and the other, then they may not, you know, because of the way I did them. Some may have tiny little bit of nuts in there, but nobody in this house is allergic to nuts, so it's fine either way. I'm going to take some from this one because I made it way too big. I'm making a mess over there. It's almost the size of a whole one right there, right by itself. That's better. Take a little from this one too. All right. And then what I'm gonna do while I'm waiting for, that one is tiny. While I'm waiting for the um, ones in the oven to finish up, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands again, put some pe pecans, nope, put some chocolate chips in this, and uh, get it mixed up. Throw this away. Oh, there's another, oh, that's the one that dropped on the ground, or on the, not ground, what am I saying? Okay, so these are just regular semi-sweet chocolate chips, and I'm gonna put about a quarter of a cup in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix that together, and they will be ready 
for whenever it's time to make the other or the last batch. So it's been almost four minutes. I'll be back whenever that first batch gets done to show you what they look like. All right, so this is the first batch with the raisins. I left them in for 12 minutes. I tried eight minutes, weren't done. 10 minutes weren't done. 12, they look like this. So I think they're done. They look done. They feel done. So I'm gonna leave them on the pan for just a few minutes and then I'm gonna take them off and put them on my wire racks. Okay, so I'm gonna use the same pan to put the chocolate chip ones on and um, whenever the others come out, I'll bake those. These are the plain ones, well, they have pecans, but the ones that like the original recipe without the dates, of course, because I don't have those. And I was wondering what these things were, what these spots were. That's the frosted pecans. Didn't know what it was. So um, I just took these out. I've got the chocolate chip ones in the oven, 12 minutes on these as well. And this is what they look like once that they're on here. They're very soft. And I'm gonna have some taste testers, but they probably won't be on camera. But I'm gonna have Jeff, if he wants to, and Noah, because I know he wants to, test them out and I'll let you know what we think um, once they taste them. Okay, so Jeff, Noah, and myself have tried the cookies. Noah's favorite is the one with the raisins. And Jeff said it was between the chocolate chip and the one without the raisins. I don't know myself because I liked all of them. They all have their own, you know, thing, but I liked all of them, but I don't know which one I like better, but they're all good. He said the ones with chocolate, or Jeff said, I should say their names since they're both he's, but <laughs> Jeff said the ones with chocolate chips are sweeter, which that's, you know, understandable. I already ate it some. I don't want any more. He's trying to force it down my throat. Um, so he's got more, he, he must really like them. They are super soft, like almost like a muffin texture. You could probably make muffins out of this recipe. They're super soft. I cooked them for 12 minutes and then I let them cool. Um, I don't know what else to say about them. What else is there to say about them? Is there anything else? They can't see you. It's good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> you don't usually eat a lot of pumpkin stuff, do you? pumpkin pie that's about it I know he didn't really love pumpkin scones but Noah and I did um so anyway that is all I have for fall food Friday if you try this recipe out let me know down in the comments it's a really good recipe it's a very wet batter so be prepared for that and I would say you know you could add you know different types of things to it that would go good with pumpkin of course but um i don't know what else you could probably add like certain kinds of berries maybe i don't know but they were good we really enjoyed them might try them with walnuts next time and um i'll leave the recipe linked in the description box down below i want to thank fallon again for doing this collaboration with everyone and having it open for everyone to be able to do it whoever wants to because it really does open up um ways for us to find channels that we would not have found i know that last year i found a lot of ladies that i had never even heard of i might not have ever found some of their channels were small and which mine's small but i'm saying that we're like not big channels they don't usually youtube doesn't advertise our little channels so i might not have found them for years and i would have missed out on some great friendships so thank you fallon for sharing in the collaboration with us and i will see you guys next time if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you like my channel go ahead and subscribe hit the bell so be notified whenever i upload as i said leave me a comment down below if you try this or if you would like to try it or if it sounds like something you've actually made before but be prepared if you make them they are going to be super soft if you don't like super soft cookies this is not the cookie for you so i will see you next time
Thank you again, and remember, don't take any wooden nickels, and be sweet.